All right, now we are going to do the same thing of completed and uncompleted to the text, all right? So let's go, text, where is it? Text, here it is. So instead of passing one thing, I'm gonna pass an array, perfect. And now here I would say is completed styles, completed text, or styles, uncompleted text. Text. So completed text and uncompleted text. Nice, now here, comma, both of them and here we go now completed text is going to have a color of uh b b b all right let's see save refresh all right so uncompleted completed a is gray and now i also want to make a line like somebody crossed it all right so to do this i will say text decoration line line through there we go look at this beauty thing nice now when somebody completes it it's like that although let's change this text color to one i found on the internet that i liked it's a nice black 35 35 35 you probably can't see it let's change it to 35 and the one I have in my face 38 39 not a big deal just want to see this is working uncompleted text color red yeah it is working just that maybe on the video you don't see it all right so we complete uncomplete 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 nice Remember, this thing we're doing here, we're just changing the state of the to-do, but this is not going to be handled here. This complete and incomplete is going to be handled from the app because from the app component, we are going to render the to-dos and we are going to save the to-dos on the local storage and we're going to complete the to-dos or edit the to-dos, all right? Because the to-do here, this is only for the CSS, for the styles, sorry. Okay, now let's create the column, all right? So after the the text, what we have, it's a um, view here, all right? We need to create two emojis, a pencil and an X. But before I do that, I'm going to put the touchable opacity and the text inside of a view. All right, and I'm gonna call this view, don't worry, styles, column. Don't worry about it, chill out, chill out, it's okay. And now I'm going to make another view and I'm also gonna call it styles, sorry, style, styles, column, all right. And here I am going to uh, create the Actions, I'm gonna call it actions. Should I call it actions? Fuck it, let's call it actions. But there are two kinds of actions, like two actions. One is the view with the pencil and the X. This is when I'm not editing. And the other action is the only that has the, the, the check mark when, I'm, when I am editing. So here I'm going to say, if it's editing, all right, then I'm going to show here an action only with the check mark and here I'm going to show the actions with the pencil and with the X because people should be able to delete them, all right? So here I'm going to create a view. And I'm gonna say style, styles, actions. Perfect. Inside of actions, I'm going to create a touchable opacity. Done, and a view here. Done, and here a text. And I'm gonna say, Pencil, sorry, uh, check mark. So, boom, check mark. So this is touchable opacity for the check mark. Now I'm gonna call this view style, styles, action, container. In here, style, styles, action, text, text. So this is when they are uh, this is when they are editing it. In my case, 
we need to do the case when they are not editing it. All right, so to do this, I will just copy paste. And instead of this one, I will make the pencil. Where is the pencil? Pencil, boom. And I'm gonna copy paste the view again. Sorry, the touchable, touchable opacity. Boom, ow. Copy, paste. And here the X. Done. Reload. Is editing. Cannot find variable is editing. Because I haven't put it here. Wonderful. All right. waiting there we go look at this beautiful thing oh my god it looks wonderful all right let's do some damage control now that we created a con uh, column we need to do column flex direction row and this is the beginning only all right flex direction row now of course align items center there we go. And of course, justify content. Space between. What? Between. Ha. Huh. I haven't said how big the column is. Width. I'm gonna say this column has a width of half of the page. Though. And also I need to separate these things. So the container that has two columns now will stay, I will do uh, justify content space between, let's see. Justify content space between, and I'm going to remove column from here. Sorry, sorry, one second. All right, reload. There we go. So now it's at the end of the day. The thing that we need to do is to put it next to each other. This is because our co actions, where is it? Actions, actions. has a flex direction of row now. Before it had a column, now it has a row. Wonderful. Okay, now our action container, I'm going to give my action container a margin vertical of 10. And a margin horizontal of 10. There we go. You will ask me why, Nicolas, why? The thing is that I want to be able, as you can see here, I'm not clicking directly on the pencil. I'm clicking a little bit up. This is because people have fat fingers. Look at this. You see, so uh, that's what I'm giving it a margin. If I do this, now fuck it, I do understand. I'm not gonna paint anything red. If you type, if you press here, look, you see, you can still press here and it will still detect the tap. And this is what I want to do. I want to be able to detect the tap whenever they there we go, look at this. You see, because people have fat fingers. So I wanna help them, all right? I don't wanna do exact on the on the pencil. So that's it, all right, so let's go. Oh my God, one more minute. Okay, let's switch real quick between editing or not editing. So this function I'm gonna call start editing. And this returns is editing true all right so if i tap nothing happens yet because i need to go to the pencil and i will say on press out this start editing refresh tap Hey, yeah, start editing. And now when I tap here, 
I should go to finish editing. So here, finish editing. You will ask me, why aren't you doing like that? Like toggle editing, right? It, it's, it's an option, you can do it if you want. I'm not doing it because we will need to be, we, we will need to do a little bit um, something else when we finish editing because when you finish editing, we need to save this from some function on the app.js. So that's why I'm not doing it um, on the same function because it might get complex because when I finish editing, I want to change the input. I want to do different things, all right? So that's what I'm not doing, finish editing in the same one. That's what I'm not doing it like this, all right? Now refresh. And now my touchable opacity here. Ah, fuck. On press out. This dot finish editing. Refresh and let's see. Editing, not editing. Wonderful. And here, crossed, not crossed. Sweet. Crossed, not crossed. Maybe if you want, you can hide this when this is crossed. Maybe if you want to, maybe you don't. It's all right. All right, this is good for this video. I will see you on the next one where we are going to change this because when somebody's editing, you should be able to have and type here like you are typing here, all right? So that's what I wanna do. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.